Coffee Break Chinese Season 1, Episode 39. Coffee Break Chinese. We are delighted to be back with our penultimate episode in our course, or in this series at least. And we are going to be continuing to follow my adventures in China, which are almost coming to an end, Crystal, aren't they? Oh, yeah. So did you enjoy your time in China, Mark? Absolutely. I think it was Uh such an eye-opener because I was... Uh, it was the first time I'd been there and the fact that I had a little bit of, of Mandarin, that <laughs> certainly helped. And I think the opportunity to practice it in lots of different situations and Hong Yu's help, of course, mm. was was vital to, to my, my experience there. And hopefully if our listeners get a chance to, to go to China or another Chinese speaking area, the fact that they've been listening to Coffee Break mm. Chinese will help them. I'm sure. Now, today we are joining uh, Hong Yu again, and we're actually going to be visiting some of Hong Yu's relatives, and we'll find out more about this in our conversation. So, shall we get started? Okay, so as I said there, we're going to be listening to another conversation this week. It's a conversation between me and Hong Yu and then some of his family members. As usual, we'll listen to this all the way through first and then we'll have a chat about it. Let's have a listen. Ni hao, Marco. Ni hao, Hong Yu. Ni jin tian zen me yang? Jin tian hen hao. Wo du zi bu teng le. Tai bang le. Ni xiang qu wo biao mei de sheng ri ju hui ma? Biao mei is your cousin? Your female cousin? And I know that Shengzhi is birthday, so is it your cousin's birthday? Hmm, tai cong ming la. And ju hui is party. Tai bang le, ta duo da le. Ta shi liu sui, wo men hui gei ta mai yi ge da dan gao. Ta xi huan chao ke li dan gao. Fei chang hao. I have to be honest, Crystal, I think my fei chang hao at the end there was, uh, I have not understood what you said, but I'll nod and smile and I think it will all be okay. I think you heard chao ke li. <laughs> yes, I, I did hear, hear, hear chao ke li, uh-huh. and that's the, the important word in there. Mm-hmm. Let's go through this part of the conversation. Obviously, there's the other part of the conversation still to come, but while we've heard this part, let's go through it in more detail. So to begin with, uh, Hong Yu and I greet each other. Mm-hmm. Ni hao, Ma Ke. Ni hao, Hong Yu. Ni jin tian zen me yang? Jin tian hen hao. Wo du zi bu teng le. Tai bang le. Okay, so after greeting each other, Hong Yu asked me, Ni jin tian zen me yang? So how's it going today? Mm-hmm. And my response was, Jin tian hen hao. And then I said something about my previous feelings, which had yeah. turned into, uh, well, more positive feelings. What did I say? Wo du zi bu teng le. So we know that du zi is a uh, stomach, mm-hmm. and this time it's bu teng le. It's no longer feeling sore. Yes. So I had a sore stomach previously after my hot pot and iced water, I think. Yeah. Huo guo he bing shui. Huo guo he bing shui. Uh-huh. So that was what gave me the sore stomach last time. Mm-hmm. However, I have no longer a sore stomach. Wo du zi bu teng le. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, Hong Yu's pleased about that. He says, tai bang le. Mm-hmm. And then he asks me a question. Let's listen to Hong Yu's question. Mm, uh, Yao Mei is your cousin? Your female cousin? And I know that Sheng Zhe is birthday, so is it your cousin's birthday? Hmm, tai cong ming And the ju hui is party. Tai bang le. Okay, so let's talk about this in a little more detail. Um, when Hong Yu asks me the question, what exactly does he say? Okay, so the only new word in there is 聚会, mm. which, as Hong Yu explains, is party. Yeah. So if we go through the word by word, 你想去, so do you want to go? Yeah. 我表妹, mm-hmm. my cousin, yeah. 的生日, my birthday. cousin's birthday, yeah. 聚会, party, yeah. ma. Question word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's hear the whole sentence again. 你想去我表妹的生日聚会吗? So I remember that the word 表妹 is cousin. Do you remember from which side? Mother's side or father's side? 
Okay. Um, was one of these biao mei, and the other one is something to do with tang. So tang mm-hmm. mei. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess mother. Yeah, okay. Biao Mei is mother's side. Tang is father's, father's side. Father's side, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it's quite a while since we learned all those mm. family members and there were lots to learn. I, I seem to remember at the time. But this is Hung Yu's female cousin on his mother's side. Yeah. And uh, when I explain what I think he's said, what does Hong Yu say? Tai Chong Ming Le. And what does that mean? You're very smart. Ah, Chong Ming. Or okay. Clever. Very clever. Tai, tai Chong Ming Le. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, he explains Zhu Hui is party. But always, we also translate Zhu Hui to Pai Dui. It's just like translation for party. Say that again? Pai Dui. So Pai Dui is a, another word for party. Yeah. So we could talk about... Uh, 生日派对. 生日派, 派对. Yes. Okay, right, we'll put that in the notes so that you can <laughs> see how Pai Dui is, is spelled uh-huh. in pinyin and also in, in our characters. Uh, good, so that's a, an alternative word there. Um, and then I ask a question about Hong Yu's Biao Mei. Mm-hmm. So my question was, So what age is she? Mm-hmm. And the answer was, 她十六岁. So she is 16 years old. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Hong Yu goes on to say something, a complicated sentence. We're going to need your help with this, yeah. Crystal. Yeah. Let's have a listen. Okay, Crystal, can you help us with this? If we go through this sentence uh, word by word. Yeah, so 我们 is we. we. 会 means we will. And 给他 for her. my to buy. 一个, one measure word. Yep. 个 is a measure word. 大 is big. big yeah. 蛋糕. A cake. Right, okay. So we're going to buy her a big cake. Mm-hmm. 她喜欢巧克力蛋糕. You know chocolate. So that's chocolate, yeah. yeah so, so she, she likes, likes chocolate, chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. Okay, so can I try saying this then? Mm-hmm. Uh, Okay, one more time. 我们会给他买一个大蛋糕。他喜欢巧克力蛋糕。蛋糕。蛋糕。蛋糕。<laughs> Almost right. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay, so we're going to buy her a, a big, a big chocolate. chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. And I agree that that sounds like a great idea, even though at the time I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, I knew it involved chocolate, so that's <laughs> always very uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, so there is a further part of this conversation where obviously we're at the party itself. But before we get there, let's take a short break. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, as we know, we are off to Hong Yu's Biao Mei's party, mm. the the Zhu Hui, or what, what did you call it? Pai Dui. Pai Dui. Uh, we're going to the party and we're going to be meeting uh, Hong Yu's cousin and indeed another family member. So let's listen to the next part of the conversation. Ting Yi Ting. This is my Biao Mei. Hello, I'm Zhao Ma Ke. What are you doing? I'm Chen Yi. I wish you a Okay, I understood. I think the, the English book, uh, Ying I got an English book, a bottle of perfume. 很好. A necklace, 手表英语怎么说? A watch. 
a watch. 你在哪儿学英语？我在学校学英语。我喜欢看英文电影。好极了，你的英语很好。马克，这是我的阿姨。你好，马克。你在中国怎么样？非常好。我们去了故宫，我们还去了长城。中国很美。我听说。苏格兰也很美。是的，希望你们来苏格兰旅游。我很期待去苏格兰旅游。我想去苏格兰学习。我期待你们来苏格兰。Okay, so there were perhaps two parts of this conversation、mm-hmm. where we first of all find out about、uh, Chengyi、yeah. and her birthday presents,、mm-hmm. all the things that she got for her birthday. She got a lot. She did.、Gifts. Yes, very, very lucky girl. <laughs> And then、uh, we also talked to her mum, who、yeah. is Hong Yu's aunt, Ai Yi,、mm-hmm. and we talked a little about、uh, Su Gulan、mm. and the difference between Su Gulan and、uh, Zhongguo.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was interesting. And again, we're going to go through all of this in in detail.、Mm-hmm. There is some new vocabulary in here, which is always good to learn.、Mm-hmm. Let's have a listen to the conversation in more detail now. This is my sister. 你好，我叫马克，你叫什么？我叫陈一。祝你生日快乐！谢谢你。Okay, so that's straightforward enough.、Mm. Uh, Hong Yu introduced his cousin, and I introduced myself,、mm-hmm. and I asked her what her name was, and her name was Chen Yi. Chen Yi.、Mm-hmm. And then I wished her a happy birthday. So I said, 祝你生日快乐。So the "ju" there is wishing you. Yeah. Yeah. So I wish you, "ju、uh, ni、mm-hmm. sheng ri kuai le,"、so、birthday happy, birthday happy,、mm-hmm. and she thanked me. Yeah. And then I asked a question. Now I have to, I have to admit here to our listeners that、uh, Hong Yu helped me with some questions <laughs> beforehand because I didn't suddenly、uh-huh. <laughs> know all these words and phrases.、Uh-huh. Um, so I knew that I was going to ask her this particular question. So、uh-huh. let's have a listen to the question I asked. And her answer. You received what gift? I received a bottle of water, a watch, a bracelet, and a book of English. I like to study English. Okay, Crystal. There's a, a lot of, of of new vocabulary here, and a lot of measure words, different measure words, different、here. measure words for、mm. each of the the different things that、yeah. uh, Chen Yi. Received as a present or as gifts for her birthday, so I asked her the question. You received what? So can you help us work out what different parts of that question、yeah. mean? The shenma is the what? Yeah. So you received means、uh, received、mm-hmm. plus a la because she has already、She's、received. Shenma what? Gifts. 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 So I think we've come across li wu before,、um, mm-hmm. as a when we're buying gifts or souvenirs、yes. or something like、yes. that. So, 你收到了什么礼物、mm-hmm. Sorry, li wu. 对礼物 So what gifts did you receive?、Mm-hmm. And、uh, so Chang Yi responded with 我收到了 I received. Yeah. And then she let, let's hear the first thing that she received. 一瓶香水 So 一 Ping, so that's a measure word,、uh-huh. and she's talking about xiang shui, something about water. Yes, literal translation: xiang means fragrant,、right. fragrant water. So that would be perfume,、yes. as she says. Okay,、yes. so and the ping, that's the same word as we've learned ping, for for beer and things yeah, like that. A bottle a of bottle. wine, yeah. yeah. So a bottle of perfume, yeah. Yi ping, xiang shui,、mm-hmm. okay, and then the next item that she received. 一块手表 Right, so the 表 is that got something to do with cousin? <laughs> exactly same character, same pronunciation, but、uh-huh. different meaning in this case. Okay, just to complicate things. Uh huh, uh huh. So 手 is hand, isn't it? Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 手表 is a watch. Right, so、mm-hmm. 手表 so it's two third tones there. The first tone. Changes to second. Yeah.、Term. Okay. So, uh, show biao a watch. Uh huh. And why is what's the thing about kuai? Kuai is the measure word for a watch. Okay. So the the whole phrase was. 一块手表。一块手表。So one watch.、Mm-hmm. Um, and then what was the next thing that uh Chang Yi received? 
一条项链项链 So what was a 项链 s i a n g is your neck. Mm-hmm. Lian is a chin, a neck chin. A neck chin, so a necklace. Yes. And I'm guessing tiao is the measure word for necklaces. Yeah, because it's a long string, so you use tiao. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And then she said hai yo, so and also. Yeah. Yi ben ying wen shu. So that's the bit I recognize. A shu is a, a book. Yeah. And it's not just any book, it's an ying wen shu, an、yes. English book. And then she gave us some further information about Yingyu. She said, So I like to learn English.、Mm-hmm. So we've done all of that. <laughs> we've, we've mentioned all those words before. So,、mm-hmm. I like to learn English. Okay, let us listen to the next part of the conversation where I try to work out some of the things that she received. Okay, I understood. I think the the English book, Yingwen Shu. Chen Yi, you can work with Mark to practice your English. I got an English book, a bottle of perfume. Very good. A necklace. 手表英语怎么说 ？A watch. A watch. Okay, so Hong Yu asked、uh, Cheng Yi to do something. What、yeah. did he say? You can learn Mark to practice your English. Right. So,、uh, what's going on here? You can do something. Gen means with someone.、Uh-huh. Mark is you. Yeah. Practice practice your English. English. Of course, so、English. it's the liangxi that I, I wasn't getting there.、Mm. Liangxi to practice. So you can learn Mark to practice your English. You can practice your English with Mark. Okay, and of course Chang Yi did that very well indeed. She、mm-hmm. uh, went through the, the different things that she uh, received, um, and then at the end of that part, I have a question for Chang Yi. You in where do you learn English? 我在学校学英语，我喜欢看英文电影。好极了，你的英语很好。Right, okay. So my question to Zhang Yi was, 你在哪儿学英语 ？So you at where learn English? Where do you learn English?、Yeah. And she said in response, 我在学校学英语。Okay, so I at school、yeah. learn English.、Mm-hmm. And then she added. 我喜欢看英文电影。Right, I am not a hundred percent sure about 电影 but I think I can guess is it films. Yes, word by word, 电 means electricity. Electric, yeah. 影 is a shadow. Right, that's right. We I think we've spoken about this before.、Yes. I think we have. So what she's saying is, I like 我喜欢、mm-hmm. 看 watch, watch、mm-hmm. 英文呃、uh, English、yeah. 电影 films. Yes. Okay, and then I said, "How jila? Your English is very good." So what am I saying there? Your English is very good. Excellent. Okay, and then we move on to the next part of the conversation, where Hong Yu introduces me to his aunt. Mark, this is my aunt. Hello, Mark. How are you in China? Good. We went to the hospital. 我们还去了长城。中国很美。Okay, so、um, the aunt asks me,、uh, "How are things going in China?"、Mm-hmm. Let's hear that. 你在中国怎么样 ？And I say that they're going really well.、Mm-hmm. We visited the Forbidden City. We also visited the Great Wall. And I comment that China is very pretty. Can we hear all of that? 非常好，我们去了故宫。我们还去了长城，中国很美。And I think that the the that Hong Yu's aunt is going to comment also on Sugarland,、uh, which is of course Scotland. Let's have a listen. 我听说苏格兰也很美。是的，希望你们来苏格兰旅游。我很期待去苏格兰旅游。我想去苏格兰学习。我期待你们来苏格兰。
Okay, so there's quite a lot in that last little section, mm. and there's a, a a couple of interesting phrases. So first of all, the, the Hong Yu's aunt said, "I hear mm -hmm. or I heard that Scotland." Is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I've I've complimented China, and she's complimenting Scotland in yeah, return. Yeah. Uh, what did she say? 我听说苏格兰也很美. So this 听说 is that like hear speak? Yes. I have heard say that mm -hmm. Scotland is also very beautiful. Yeah, and may. And it's Hong Yu that replies, should it? it is indeed. And since Hong Yu is uh, living in Scotland, I've mm. got to know him in Scotland, although we're currently yeah. in, in China, obviously. He says that he hopes that you, talking to Cheng Yi and his aunt, yeah. can also travel to Scotland. So how does he say that? So he used the word lie is to come, come to. Yeah. So based on he is from Scotland. Yeah, so he's yeah. living in Scotland yeah. and uh, therefore he's asking them to come. He's saying that he hopes that they can travel to Scotland. And the verb for travel is? Lü yu. Lü yu, uh, so to travel. And we continue talking about travel because, in fact, Hong Yu's aunt comments that she is looking forward to coming to Scotland. Mm -hmm. She says, so I am uh, very much looking forward to going to Scotland, to travel to Scotland. Yes. Yeah, so pay attention this time. I you said to mm -hmm. go to rather to than to, lie to come to. Come. to. Okay. Yeah. So it's the, the, the relative nature of where they are. So mm -hmm. the lie is to, or lie rather, is to come and chew to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Cheng Yi also added in something she said. So she's not necessarily thinking about coming to travel to uh -huh. Scotland and traveling in Scotland. She wants to she wants to study there. So I want to go to Scotland to study. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said I'm looking forward to welcoming them all to Scotland. Excellent. Okay, so it's now time to listen to the whole of the second part of the conversation again. And uh, hopefully now, having gone through it all, you'll understand everything. This is my Okay, I understood. I think the, the English book, uh, Yingwen I got an English book, a bottle of perfume. 很好. A necklace, 手表英语怎么说? A watch. A watch. 你在哪儿学英语? 我在学校学英语 Okay, now you can access the notes for this lesson, which will provide the whole conversation in pinyin and in Chinese characters, and also our video version where you'll see all the words and phrases on the screen. And also the bonus materials, the bonus audio materials, which will help you practice what has been covered with some translation questions. And all of that is part of the premium version of Coffee Break Chinese. You can find out all you need to know about that at coffeebreakchinese.com. Don't forget that you can follow Coffee Break Chinese on social media. Just search for Coffee Break Chinese on Facebook. We are at Learn Chinese on Twitter. And you can also keep up with the Coffee Break team on Instagram. Just search for Coffee Break Languages. Post a comment and ask know how you're getting on learning Chinese with us. 
And of course, also check out our YouTube channel. That's Coffee Break Languages on YouTube. You can subscribe to our videos there and get new videos regularly for help with your language learning. That's it for this episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. And we would like to welcome you back to our next episode, which is the final one in the series. 欢迎下次再来Coffee Break Chinese. 谢谢,再见。再见。You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>